And welcome to this session of Talk on Christianity. You know it's a Christian Council program, and we're running it under the auspices of the Christian Council. And with thanks also to GRTS that gives us the opportunity to air our views about Christianity, the faith which we, we, we profess. Uh, we look upon this program as a place of learning. We learn from you and we also bring you whatever we have so that we share together. So we will go ahead with it today and um, we will have a music break after which we'll have uh, lines open so that you can ask questions on whatever we will prevent, present to you this evening and also hear from you about what your views will be on the matter we are presenting. Today, we want to talk about angels. Angels. Very many a time we just have vague ideas about angels. But those of us on the panel here this, after, this evening have put together bits and pieces which we've got from places so that we can thrash this matter. We might not be able to get through all, so be ready to have us again next week when we, fin when we think we can finish. If we can finish today, fine. But today, I have with me uh, two people. On my right is our dear father, Papa Wali Tamba. And he will be translating for us into Wolof what we'll be saying. And he will also give us his views. You know, he's full of ideas, and he's an old man with an old head and with some wisdom in that head. <laughs> so, Papa Wali Tamba, welcome. Thank you, Reverend. Good evening, viewers. And uh, on my left, I have our brother who has been with us on this program for more than some time now. 
and his Dikin Ja. Dikin Ja, welcome, and we hope that our contribution will do something good. Welcome, please. Thank you, Evan, and viewers, we are here to bless you this evening. Just be attentive and take note of crucial issues. Right, having done that, we go straight into the matter. And as I said, today we want to look at angels. Angels. Now, first of all, through our research, we found out that the word, the Greek word for angel is angelus. And the Hebrew word is malak. But both of them have a literal meaning. The literal meaning of both of those words is <coughs> messenger. So Malak is a messenger. Agilos is a, is a mes is messenger also. So both the Greeks and the Greek and the Hebrew words mean literally messenger. Now when reference reference is made to a spirit, the word angel is used. When a spirit is mentioned as an angel, the word spirit is used. If the angel is mentioned as a spirit, it, the word is spirit. Now when reference is made to the, uh, the angel as a human being, then the word that is used is messenger. So spirit, when it's a spirit being, when it's a human being, it's just a messenger. Because human beings were sent as messengers to give news to people. For example, in, Rev in Genesis chapter 16, and verse 7, we have this. The angel of the Lord met Hagar at a spring in the desert on the road to Shur, and said to Hagar, uh, slave or, or sorry, the slave girl, the, the, the slave girl, and said, Hagar, slave of Saria, where have you come from, and where are you going? In the same Genesis, chapter 32, verse 3, we have these. Genesis, chapter 32, verse 3. It said, Jacob sent messengers ahead of him to his brother Esau in the court of Edom. So I will stop there and ask for Pawali to tell us in Wolof what I have just said. Mbokai, sinyo watante nyunko jemali chi malaka. Lana di malaka. Budene amne nyunko chi tere yukaya. Nyinyo hami Greek. Nyom nyunko dewa angelos. Nyinyo hami yeur nyom nyunko dewa malak. Lim teki mwadi kunyo de yoni. So sete malak binchi wak 